Hey there guys, all right, today we are back with some more History Matters. In this one, a question I've been wondering, though I think it was covered in um, the Great War series. I think it's been so long that I don't remember it if it was covered in the first place. But why did Germany not invade the Netherlands in World War I? A short animated documentary. Before we dive in, uh, make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below. I would love to join the Discord and follow me over at Twitch. My guess is primarily the Netherlands weren't really doing shit, and uh, maybe the Kaiser had close relations with the Dutch monarchy at the time, because that is where the Kaiser fled to after being deposed. So really, that's kind of my only guess. It was like the one place he felt he could go to if things went shitty. I don't know. Um... Let's dive in and figure it out. In the Second World War, Germany famously invaded France by going through Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands. The idea was that doing so would broaden the front, stretching French forces and allowing German troops to quickly go around them and avoid some fortifications too. But during the First World War, when the German military had the same concerns, the Netherlands was left alone. Which raises the question, why? Why didn't Germany invade the Netherlands in the First World War? So, to begin, whilst planning for any future war with France, German commanders led by Alfred von Schlieffen knew that it would likely also involve Russia. The original <laughs> plan was to hold at the border and crush Russia before bringing their full might against France. However, in 1905, the Russians showed the world that their military wasn't as mighty as they had let on, and so the Germans changed their plan. Instead, France would be crushed first and then Russia dealt with. The problem was that the Franco-German border was heavily manned and fortified, meaning that going through there would take a long time. Schlieffen felt that quickly pushing through Luxembourg would allow the Germans to go around French fortifications, and that going through Belgium would aid in cutting through Luxembourg, and that going through the Netherlands would aid in going through Belgium. <laughs> However, when war broke out nine years later, Germany left the Netherlands alone. So why? Well, the first reason was overconfidence. Germany's military chiefs believed that going ah. through the Netherlands to flank the Belgians was unnecessary, because crushing them was going to be easy, so why deal with the extra paperwork? The second reason was that the German Emperor had a good relationship with the Dutch royal family, ah. and Kaiser Wilhelm personally preferred that they weren't subject to capture or humiliation at the hands of the German army. The third reason was the most important, oh. pragmatism. German high command knew that invading France via Belgium would pull Britain into the war, and with Britain's navy easily able to block trade to Germany, it needed to keep some of the seas open for food and goods. As ah. such, keeping the Netherlands out of the war meant that, as a neutral nation, it could openly import goods which Germany could purchase. As a neutral third party... That's one I didn't fucking guess. That's one I didn't even fucking think about. Damn. Good point. Good fucking point. See, the Dutch could be threatened with escalation in order to prevent them from taking Britain or France's side. The German military knew that the Dutch monarchy would never take their country into war with a great power, and so the threat of war, which Britain and France would never countenance, could be used to give some minor concessions. For example, in the opening days of the invasion of Belgium, the Dutch closed the River Scheldt, which runs through its territory here to Antwerp and later to Brussels. Now, technically, the Dutch were obliged to do this in times of war, but the Entente had put immense pressure on the Netherlands to keep it open. However, the government of the Netherlands weren't willing to do this because if weapons and troops travel through its territory to fight Germans, the Germans would have a justification to invade. Mm -hmm. And so, it's these three reasons why the Netherlands was- One, we don't need to. Two, the Dutch royals are cool. Three, they can sell us stuff. Yeah. Damn. Fucking History Matters doing a great job again. Um, the we don't need to part- I think, I mean, it was proven true in those opening weeks. They did kind of steamroll through Belgium pretty handedly. Like, they, and the, as we know, the Germans got pretty close to Paris once again here in uh, 1914, or was it in the early weeks of 1915? Um, I can't remember. I think it was, I think it was, they were getting there by 1914, because it was 1915 when trench warfare really started. Um was never yeah. invaded. And as the war progressed, the German economic situation only got worse, thus the need for Dutch trade only ever grew, and intervention had no benefit. And in case you're wondering why Germany did invade it in the Second World War, it's because it was great for building airfields close to Britain, <laughs> and also, again, overconfidence. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, and that was why Germany didn't invade the Netherlands in World War I, a short animated documentary by History Matters. Another wonderful job by this amazing channel. Um... In the Second World War, I'd also say, like, what I think Germany was trying to do, um, at least what the attempt was, especially, like, we see this with uh, Hitler's invasion of Denmark and Norway, is I think Hitler trying to do 
what Napoleon wanted to do in, in Europe with uh, in chokeholding the British out of economic trade within Europe, right? Um, now, if, right, like if he if with Italy under control and then taking France and stuff like that, Switzerland can't trade with with England. Um, taking Norway and Denmark cuts Sweden off from that trade uh, and Finland off from that trade. Uh, um, really, the only people that could still get trade would be the Portuguese and the Spanish. But the Spanish, I don't know if the Spanish got trade deals. They traded with anyone. They were fascist in World War II. So I don't, I'm not sure about Franco, uh, what Franco's deal was there. But my la my large guess is really why it happened in World War II was Hitler didn't want a potential enemy near him, uh, especially one on the coast, like the Netherlands, where the British could potentially land forces um, if Hitler didn't invade them, and then also try and choke out the British economically. Um, but anyways, that's a question and, a, and theories or whatever that don't really matter. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button, uh, like button, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.